the nation of Japan highly influenced in Friday's game, Keigawa Hideki Matsui, facing off against the Mariners, Kenji Jojima and Ichiro Suzuki. Mariners down 5 0. Jojima against the Gawa. Jojima gone. Third home run of the year. Here come the Mariners. Well, they're down 5 0. Bottom three was a 5 3 game. Matsui, second of the year. Now, Matsui and Jojima, the first two Japanese players with home runs in the same game since August 15th of 04. Yankees up 6 3. Mariners down 2, two out, one on Jose Lopez. It's deep and it's gone. Two run homer, fourth of the year, tied at six. So the Mariners come back from that 5 0 deficit. Next batter, Ichiro. And Gawa up and in. Suzuki thrown off balance, tries to get out of the way. Tension building at Yankee Stadium. Can you feel it, Butchie? Bottom four, tie game two on A Rod. That'll bring home Doug Mankiewicz and Bobby Abreu, and the Yankees respond going up 8-6. to six. Top five, Mariners down one, bags full, no outs for Joe Jima, looking for space, and he finds it. Just like that, Ibanez would score, tying the game. Every starter in Seattle's batting order had a hit and a run score. Next batter, Uniski Bettencourt ropes it. Off the wall, two runs come in, Mariners are up 10-8. to eight. Seven of the nine in the M starting lineup had an RBI in this game. Oh, yeah. Bottom seven, Yanks down by 7-2 on Johnny Damon. Thanks for playing. Three-run home run. That chiropractor must have helped him out. Second of the year, Yankees cut the lead 15-11. to Same score, bottom nine, bags full, two out. Derek Jeter picked a bad time to end that 20-game hitting streak. 0 for 6 was Jeter. Yankees lose. Mariners win. Eric O'Flaherty with his first Major League win. AL East doing Red Sox. Only team over 500 in the AL East. Tim Wakefield, one of the best bargains in baseball, makes $4 million bucks a year. Figure your league average pitcher makes about 8 to 10. Julio Lugo 0 for 5 at the plate, hitting 231, but nice defense there. Wakefield 7 scoreless. His ERA is 2.11. David Ortiz off Carlos Silva. Silva gave up 38 homers last year, doing a better job this year. Uh, Ortiz is eighth of the year. What a year he's having, hitting 318, 421 on base, slugging 636. That's going to Pode's house. Caught the ball in the windbreaker. Well done. Impressive. Bottom nine, Jonathan Papelbon, Justin Morneau, Coco Crisp had an RBI in the top of the ninth, a bit of insurance, and then that catch. He's playing gold glove center field for the Red Sox, who shut out Minnesota. Yeah, but the Indians have the best record in baseball, 17 and 8, as they play the slumping Orioles, losers of 9 to 10. There's Eric Bedard. One nothing Indians down. Casey Blake changes that. Now Cleveland's up two to one on Blake's third of the year. Let's rock it to the tenth inning. Bottom of the tenth, tied to two one on nobody out for Corey Patterson. CP, nice bunk. Tom Masney, a slow to field it, and then he just throws it away. It's all going downhill. Jay Paint moves to third on that error. Patterson would get a single. Now, after Brian Roberts was walked to load the bases, Nick Markakis money down the line. That'll score Peyton, who also had homered in this game. Orioles come from behind to win an extra innings as they improve to 2-14 and 14 when losing after 7. Oh, and D-backs. John May looking to go 5-0. and 0. Here's something interesting. Randy Johnson, 43 years, 236 days old. Julio Franco, 48 years, 254 days old. They get together in a strange sort of way and make history. Franco, off of the big unit. That's a two-run homer. That's the first home run of the season for Franco. And Franco and Johnson, the oldest combined age for a hitter-pitcher home run combo in Major League history. That's 92 years. Orlando Hudson. Andy Chavez, another dramatic catch. Tries to keep the ball in play. Did it go out? Let's take another look. Chavez trying to save it. A fan and his popcorn get in the way of that catch. Pulled a homer. His popcorn? Diamondbacks down 5-3. to three. That's strong popcorn. Hudson's fourth. Scott Hairston on the ground. Double play. Great play by Franco. Jose Reyes with three hits. Maine gets the win. The Mets have now won 12 straight in Arizona. Padres Marlins, Dontrell Willis, he gets 8.17 runs a game. Wow. Leaves the majors in run support. Maddox, not so much. He's received only 12 runs of support and his five starts. Top of six, base is loaded, and Mike Cameron clears the bases. Lefties against Dontrell Willis this year, 111. Righties, 354. I see your point. Oh. All right, you see the San Diego Padre bullpen. They're, they're, uh, they're normally good. However, Scott Linebrink, first batter, Josh Willingham, and that is gone. Game tied at four. Next batter, you go back, Jack, do it again. Joe Borcher, goodbye. Hanley Ramirez, four for five. Stole his seven base. He's now hitting 350. And the Marlins winner, winner, chicken dinner.
over the pond. Astros and Cardinals. Cardinals playing their first home game since the death of Josh Hancock. A moment of silence held before the game to remember him. Hancock's uniform number and initials on the wall in the bullpen. To the game, bottom five cards down 2 1, two men on Albert Pujols. All he's doing is hitting 409 during a 12 game hitting streak. That scores Wilson and Chris Duncan. Cardinals up 3 2. Same score, top nine, two out. Jason Isringhausen on, facing Craig Biggio already with two hits. Izzy with a five out save, seventh save of the year. Cardinals end that five game losing skid. At the time of his fatal accident, St. Louis Cardinals reliever Josh Hancock was drunk and talking on his cell phone. And that's not all. Eight and a half grams of marijuana and a glass pipe were found in his vehicle, which he drove into the back of a parked tow truck. Those were the findings announced Friday by medical examiner Michael Graham. Graham said Hancock's blood alcohol level was close to twice Missouri's legal limit. The Cardinals hope others can learn from this tragedy. I think it's probably a wake-up call to everybody. I mean, I think you, the one thing you have to understand is that uh, they have to understand we're not invincible. You know, that they, they have to, uh, uh, you know, conduct themselves, make better decisions. And obviously, uh, unfortunately, Josh didn't make a very good decision that night. I think about Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, you know, he makes those mistakes. There's only two conclusions I come to. Either I'm effect ineffective, which is possible, or can, couldn't get through to them. Meanwhile, in an effort to promote responsible drinking, the St. Louis Cardinals announced Friday they have banned alcohol in their clubhouse. Angels hosting the White Sox. Hey, Darren Erstad won a ring with and for the Angels, playing in Anaheim for the first time. Since he became a member of the White Sox in the offseason, first A.B. flies out to left. Bottom two, Shea Hillenbrand. Back up the middle, but Jose Contreras, he fields it, but his throw goes off of Patek Gucci's glove. Aaron Contreras, Eric Ibar goes to third. Next batter, Mike Napoli, and that's a can of corn. That's a piece of Boston cream pie, but what Darren Erstad cannot see it. Might want to take the sunglasses off. It's a night game. Yeah. Mike Sosha breaks the Angels' record for wins by a minute. Oh, those are the Yokus that are actually supposed to make it seem brighter than the sun just going down. I think Bono has a pair of that. Thank you, Adriana. Top plays, number 10, Mets, Diamondbacks in Arizona. Mets love playing in Arizona. Damien Easley up the middle. Orlando Hudson. What a play and a throw to get the out. Can I have another look? Thank you. Diamondbacks lost, though, to the New York Metropolitans 5 3. What Ryan Miller is to Guster, Ryan Miller is to the Sabres. Here comes Blair Betts, and Miller says you'll get nothing and like it. He's a one man wrecking machine. More to come from this amazing hockey game. Number eight, Rockies Reds, Ken Griffey Jr. Amazing. Career home run number 567. That's off of Jason Hirsch. Griffey now two homers away from Rafael Palmero for ninth all time. Dodgers Braves, Rafael for a call. Shortstop against shortstop crime. He robbed Edgar Renteria. Oh my goodness, what an arm he has. The former Brave gets Renteria by half a step. No ma. Number six, Wachovia Championship. Second round, Retief Goosen on eight from the bunker. Nice read. Goosen plus two through two. Number five, the Raptors and the Nets. The Nets move on. They'll play the Cavaliers beginning Sunday on ABC. Kid to Jefferson. Nets win. Number four, Nationals Cubs. Dimitri Young diving is Jacques Jones. Oh. That was impressive. We need another look. The Cubs are looking more like the Cubs. Once they got April out of the way, now they're winning 6-4. Yep. Dontrell Willis. Uh, didn't yeah. pitch all that well in the end, but here's some great defense. He's a great athlete. He can hit. He can pitch. He can field. He can procreate. Just had a baby with I his know. wife. A little baby girl. Wasn't even there. Dodgers Braves, number two, Willie Harris. He got there. Brett Tomko, whatever. And then throws with the seat of his pants. Dodgers lose oh. four to nothing. That was that was really nice. Very nice. It's a good look. And, but and number our one. number one play. I'm getting the yeah. Through to McClinner. Drury spun it out in front. There's the shot. Blocked in front. Rebound. Biggest division.
division lead in baseball. Johan Santana at home, normally good, but just one and two with a 5.40 ERA this year. David Ortiz, yes, you did go, said umpire Jeff Nelson. Ortiz does not like it in the top of the first. We move to the top of the fourth. Two nothing twins, Julian Tavares, which he did pretty well for the Red Sox. Number five starter against the number one starter, Santana. Dustin Pedroia, RBI ground rule double with a 2 1 game. Tying run on second, Julio Lugo. What a changeup by Santana. Top of nine now. Man on, one out, David Ortiz. Now, Torrey Hunter's playing very deep because the tying runs on first base. Normally, that may have gotten over his head. Two outs, next batter, Manny Ramirez, and that is some high provolone cheese. Twins are a winner, two to one. Got a win there. Trying to run their win streak to six straight games, taking on the Royals. Royals. Top of the eighth, Magler Ordonez. The hair is fierce, yeah, and so is the bat. Emo Brown can't get there. Fusito Polanco comes in to score. That ties the game at five. Still top eight. Still tied at five. Tigers have two men on. Craig Monroe. That'll bring Marcus Timms home. Ordonez will score behind him. Tigers take a 7-5 lead. Now, watch this. Joe Zamaya warming up in the bullpen said he felt something pop. Dislocated the middle finger of his pitching hand. He was treated at a hospital. He's going on the DL. The Tigers make it six in a row with a 7 5 victory. When first we practiced to deceive Brandon Webb's deception is his sinking fastball. Defending Cy Young champ taking on the Mets. And Sean Green takes him out. Green's fourth, having a pretty solid year for the Mets. They're up 2 0. Bottom five, same score. D backs with a runner on second, nobody out. Jorge Sosa. Forces Chris Snyder to pop out to shallow right. Chris Young cannot advance. Max cannot advance the runner. How about Eric Burns tacking at a 3-0 pitch? So Sosa gets out of the inning unscathed. Top of six after Webb walked both Carlos Beltran and Carlos Delgado. Paul Duca singles to left. Oh, boy. Harrison charged the ball, gets through his legs, and Beltran and Delgado score. Laduca ends up at third. The Mets, they go on to win 6-2. Match of a first place teams, Dodgers and Braves from Atlanta, top of the eighth. Dodgers up two to one. It's Wilson Betterment in the pitch. Hey, shit. Every time I say his name, I think of the old Lucy show with Vitamin Meat and Vegemite. Sure. Wilson Betterment is a random thought. Though. First homer of the year for Betterment. Dodgers up three to one. Bottom eight, same score. Runners in the corners, two out for Andrew Jones facing Jonathan Broxton. Braves get the force at second. Dodgers out of a tough spot. Top nine now. Two on for Ramon Martinez. Timely base hit will drive in another one. Dodgers go up 6-1. Bottom nine now. Braves cut it to 6-3. Two on, two out for Edgar Renteria. And he's got an opportunity. But he doesn't do nothing with it. <laughs> Dodgers hang on to win 6-3. First win in eight tries versus Tim Hudson. The Dodgers. Started our rain delay. And Aaron Harang went out in search of his fifth win of the season. But he's facing former LSU star Brad Hall. And Hoff will drive in two. Harang, five innings of work, eight hits, five runs. Rockies take the 4 3 lead. Top of the seventh. One on, 6 5 Rockies. Matt Holiday facing Victor Santos. That one's not coming back. Rockies extend their lead to 8 5. Bottom of the eighth, two on, two outs. Manny Corpus gets Ken Griffey Jr. And the Rockies hang on to win it 9 7. Mariners and Yankees. Remember Tuesday, Phil Hughes took a no-hitter into the seventh. Chinman Wong doing his thing on Saturday. Top third, two out, nobody on for Jose Lopez. A-Rod, a man outstanding in his field. Defense working for Wong. Fourth inning, Wong working for himself. Each row with a hot shot. Wong there to make the play. Take another look at this. Wong takes it right off his leg and just what the Yankees need, right? Another injured pitcher. But he was fine, stayed in the game. Wong going strong through four. Remember, Hughes hurt his hamstring and his no-no bid. He's out for at least a month. Top six now. Unieski Bennett court over to first. Doug Minkiewicz to Wong. Wong perfect through six, and he's got no company in the dugout. Bottom six now. Yanks adding to the run support. Already at 4 nothing. Bases loaded. Derek Jeter off Jeff Weaver. Two runs scored. 6 nothing Yankees. We go to the seventh. 6 nothing still. Wong facing Ichiro again. That's well hit. But Hideki Matsui is there. Still perfect for Wong. Two batters later, Raul Abanez swinging. Wong perfect through seven. They're going nuts in the Bronx. One out for Ben Broussard now in the eighth. And Broussard's like, I got your perfect game and your no-hitter right here. Broussard's second of the season, but the Yankees 
still going to win it 7-1. Wong eight innings worth two hits, one earned run, struck out four Yanks win it again 8-1. And Wong certainly in the zone, known for his sinker, but he depended on his heater on Saturday. 82 of his 103 pitches were fastballs. So close to perfection in this one, which is amazing considering that he threw first pitch strikes to only 10 of the 25 men he faced. He's a battler. All 13 batters that reached two strikes were eventually put out. Phillies Giants in San Francisco, site of this year's All-Star Game. Barry Bonds will likely be in that game. His 520 on base percentage leads all of baseball. His 806 slugging, second only to A-Rod. And that is his 10th homer of the season. 744 of his career. He needs 12 more to become baseball's all-time home run king. Also on today, passes Stan Musial for fourth all-time on the RBI list. The game is tied at one. Bonds homers off John Lieber. Bottom seven, Giants with a 4-3 lead. Eliezer Alfonso. Big hit Friday against the Phillies. Big hit here. The home run, his first of the season. Giants up 5-3. Top of eight, 5-4 Giants. Ryan Howard didn't start. He's pinch hitting and he'll send it to left field. The sun is a massive incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace. It's causing Bond some problems, but it is 93 miles away, from, 93 million miles away from Earth. Right. That's what it. That was impressive. That's why it appears so small. Uh, but he still makes the catch after the homer. Bond walks three times. What John Flansburg is to they might be Giants. Barry Bonds is to the San Francisco Giants. Thank you. The Astros, Albert Pujols, 12-game hitting streak, but strange splits. For Albert, 213 at home this season, 345 on the road. More bad home hitting today, 0 for 4. Pujols now hitting 274, six homers and 17 RBIs. That's like a 36 homer, 102 RBI pace. That's obviously uh, below his standards. Top of the fifth, bases loaded. Carlos Lee in a 3 0 Astro lead, and that will clear the bases. Astros lead 6 0. Lee takes third on the throw home. Ahead to the eighth, Astros. Up 9 nothing and bases loaded for a Hunter Pence. First career home run is a grand slam. Astros win 13 nothing. More bad news for the Cardinals. Chris Carpenter will have arthroscopic surgery to trim bone spurs in his pitching elbow that have caused persistent swelling. He's expected to be out at least until August. He said, quote, hopefully we can get it done and I'll be back faster than everybody hopes. UC Irvine taking on IPFW in the men's national volleyball final match point. Oh, that's long. UC Irvine, the Anteaters, celebrate its first volleyball title. Congratulations. The Anteaters. Number nine, Cardinals and Astros, runner on third, one out. Aaron Miles. Flat out. And then up. And in time, the Cardinals lost 13 up. Driver eight, take a break. Todd Helton's in 390 this year. Looks like he'll pad his average. No, he won't. Josh Hamilton had four hits and that catch, but since he loses, 9 7. Number seven, Tigers and Royals. Placido Polanco, DeMar Grudz Atlantic. Dive, spin, and throw. Tigers going to win at 7 5. Nationals and Cubs, number six. Dimitri Young pops it up. Up and Ryan Terrier. Where did he go to school? LSU. Yes, sir. He's a juggler, professional juggler. Number five, Red Sox and Twins. Base loaded, two outs. Nick Punto from his knees. You know, I think that means Mike Lowell's really slow. Twins win it two to one. Number four, Bobby Orr, Phillies and Giants. And in case you missed him, more recently against him. And he crushes one high in the air. Deep to right center, way back there, and high up into the bleachers at center field. Career homer 744 for Bonds, likely won't play Sunday. Check this out, number three Nationals and Cubs against Felipe Lopez. A great play there, but then where's that throw going? Yao Ming couldn't catch that one. That's a knob block. Ball actually caroms off a woman in the front row, and a fan behind her makes a great one-handed grab. Wow. Still with his beer in hand, but of course he's not in the game. Cubs win at 5 3. Number two, Bulls Pistons. Dang! Luel Dang over Jason Maxiel. And number one, Wachovia Championship. Third round, Rory Sabatini on one, Aaron Overholzer on three, VJ Singh on 12. All make Eagles by holding out from the fairway. Sabatini made the most of his Eagle. He leads after three rounds. 
Oberholzer and Singh both two shots back. It's great golf mm. in Charlotte.